Guys, this is Kevin. Just uh, stuck in traffic. I know I haven't made uh, any videos lately. I've been kind of busy with uh, a lot of stuff going on. This is a quick video. I just wanted to, uh, me and my friend was talking about um, mechanic shops and stuff because he works at a shop and of course, you know, I've worked at different shops, uh, mom and pop shops and uh, corporate shops. Um, you know, a store manager, sales supervisor, and technician. So I know like the ins and outs of uh, how those places work. And um, it's just, it's a shame that even with the uh, the economy, the way that it, that it is right now, you know, they're, they're still looking to, um, you know, shab people and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, let me tell you a couple little tricks that they do. Now, the first trick, of course, is the most obvious one. When you see a mechanic shop, that uh, advertises uh, $19.99 oil changes or you know $16.99 oil changes with free tire rotation. Honestly, that is uh, that's crap and it's a gimmick. Um, first of all, the oil changes if it's $19.99, it's got it's not going to be $19.99. It's going to come up being pretty close to $30, if not a little bit over $30, because they charge you. Uh, you know, tax, shop material, and then uh, oil disposal, uh, disposal fees and all that kind of crazy crap. So it's really not 19 bucks. It's gonna come up to be about 30, 32 dollars, something like that. Now, just a trick. If you know how to change oil, now honestly, you can get um, five quarts of oil and an oil filter, a Fran filter from, uh, what do you call it? Um, damn it, Walmart and you would only come out spending about $14. Now, oil changes literally take about maybe 10, 15 minutes. They're really not that hard to do. Um, now, my next video is gonna be doing an oil change. I'm actually on my way right now to pick up a, uh, a Honda Civic, and uh, when I get that back home, I'm gonna do an oil change and I'll do a, a quick video on it. Now, the second thing that's really a gimmick is uh, the free tire rotation. Free tire rotation is bullshit. The um, only reason... God damn it. All right. The only reason that they even offer a free tire rotation is going to be so they can get your tires and wheels off your vehicle so they can inspect the... Uh, the shocks and the the, uh, the brakes. And I'll tell you what, 95% of the time, they're gonna tell you that you need brakes, you need the the rotors cut or need them replaced or some shit like that. And that's why it's very important to know the basics of, um, of car mechanics and, and parts and stuff like that because they will shaft you. If you go to, um, look at these places like uh, Just Brakes and, and, and Jiffy Loop, stuff like that. You'll go in there to get, let's say if your rotors are in decent condition, they don't need to be cut. Of course, the shop's gonna tell you they need to be cut. But if there's no deep grooves or anything like that, more than likely they don't need to be cut. You just need pads. Um, now, a Jiffy Lube or a Just Brakes, honestly, they'll say you need all kinds of crazy stuff when in the end, all you needed was some pads. You can get brake pads for, you know, if you get the El Cheapos, you can get it for about 22 bucks. If you get the good, uh, ceramic pads you could probably get them for about $39 so um, there's really not too much on a vehicle that is uh, expensive to do but a shop is gonna charge you about $149 for uh, a set of brake pads you know it's just ridiculous um, now I'll probably the next car that I get that needs brakes I'll go through it now drum brakes are a little bit I, I don't want to say tougher but there's a little bit more parts involved, so it's a little bit more complicated, but, you know, disc brakes are, are nothing. I mean, it's just basically, you know, a couple screws, take your tire off, a couple screws, change out the pads, put them back on, you're good to go. So, that's what I'm gonna try to <coughs> transition to, is uh, doing uh, some maintenance videos for right now. Um, because I am busy and I, I do have to do that kind of stuff anyway to the cars that, I'm, you know, that I'm getting. But uh, just, you know, the, the moral of the story is a shop is going to try to cheat you. 95% of shops out there are going to try to cheat you and they're going to try to tell you that you need stuff that you really don't need. Um, my friend was telling me that he's got a 2001 Honda Civic 
course a 1.7 liter VTEC motor. He had an oil leak. I was busy and uh, you know, he took it up to this corporate you know, shop that starts with a G. But uh, they actually charged him $220 to do the valve cover gasket on that damn car. Now that literally is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight screws and 15, 20 minutes of your time. It's just labor rates are ridiculous, crazy as hell. So uh, if there's any normal maintenance that you guys want to see, oil changes, spark plug changes, uh, tune up, rotor button, you know, distributor cap, stuff like that. Like right now, I'm mostly dealing in um, in Honda Civics just because you know they're good, they're reliable, and uh, you know they're kind of easy to move. So um, that's what's kind of going on right now. Now, pretty soon, I want to say in the next month or two, I am looking to um, go ahead and go into not to say to debt, but uh, go ahead and spend some cash on getting me another project car. Um, now, I'm kind of going in between a uh, 93, 94 Toyota Supra non-turbo and just do it like I did my uh, SC300. Uh, just going in, you know, change the head gasket, studs and stuff like that and then boost it. Um, or, and, and th th this is really weird, but I've, I've really been looking at the, um, the GTOs uh, with the uh, 5.7 liter try to find one that's a stick shift and uh, maybe see what I can do with that really not sure right now but um, <clears throat> that's about it for right now guys you know if you have any questions like I said I'm gonna make some, make some videos of um, you know how to jack your car up how to uh, change your tires and you know do stuff like that I actually made a video of how to do a Tom and belt on a uh, 1.6 liter Honda but I went through the whole process of doing it. Then I started looking at the video on my laptop and it was just too dark. So I didn't upload that, but um, yeah, that's about it. So don't get shafted by shops. If you guys have any kind of questions, you can, uh, I'll put a link uh, down at the bottom to my Facebook because um, I've got a lot of people sending me messages and uh, you know asking me how to do stuff. I've got my friend uh, Javier over there in California that's got a SC300 that his uh, alternator plug messed up and I wound up finding one for him and shipping it out to him. So, you know, uh, if you guys want to subscribe to me on Facebook, subscribe here. If you have any questions, just hit me up and uh, that's about it.